Yes, they're on Zoom all day on their schooling. Yes, they then get onto their gaming devices and so on. Yes, they then get onto social media. And yes, it's really important that those forums allow them to stay connected and stay part of a kind of social network. And I think for parents, it's difficult. They're under a lot of pressure. Um, and I think the instinct of a parent is to move into control. And I think that's that's a problem. I mean, lockdown is governmental control. So if you then to try to do micro controlling in the home, you're going to end up with loads of rows with no space to um, allow those rows to kind of disperse and so on. So a um, lot of thoughts about it. But in essence, when your teenager is stomping around the place and in the mood, much better to be standing shoulder to shoulder with them and realizing that they are suffering from this kind of, I suppose, repression at a time when they should be spreading their wings, than tell them to stop being so moody, get a grip and lay the table, because you're just going to get a massive backlash. So I think for parents, it's really important to stand back and recognize the container that their teenager is in, which is massively at odds with where they should be at the moment, spreading their wings, and engage with more tolerance, more curiosity, and understand that the impact on our children, whether they're tiny and supposedly going to nursery, or teenagers and ready to leave the family home, the parents really need to take a deep breath and understand the social context and how that is affecting uh, teens and children, because they're at a really steep stage of learning.